Hello friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how do you prepare your research proposal. Majority of the students after the post-graduation find it extremely difficult to write a research proposal. There is no guidance given to them by their teachers or even their uh, friends to write a research proposal. A comprehensive research proposal has to define the research problem very clearly. Y as a research, uh, you know, as a researcher or a research student or a research scholar, you are expected to know what you're going to do. So you should have a clear objective in your mind about what your research is all about. The objective of your research project is paramount to get, you know, get into that particular uh, program because you are the, the research, um, you know, uh, panel there. Uh, the, the the scholars in the panel there will ask you questions related to your research proposal. If ever you're very serious of applying to universities, especially top 100 universities in the world or top 50 universities in the world, uh, where research is uh, origin very genuine and it is, is very original work, unlike uh, research in several, several other universities in this part of the world. So you'll have to work on your research proposal very carefully. You have to identify what you're going to do. And you should, you should focus on a microscopic area of your research. You should come up with a hypothesis of your research. What is uh, that you're going to do in the hypothesis? You have to speculate on what is the exact and precise area of research. What is your research problem? You should define it carefully. Describe uh, the uh, the, the factors which which make you to uh, you know analyze this what why do you like to analyze this this particular research area what are the antecedents of this particular research problem what sort of changes do you expect to happen and you should also have uh, the context in which this research problem is quite significant for people to uh, go further or delve deep into it you should have read at least say 15 to 20 research articles relevant to this particular area of research. What is happening at the moment in this area of research in all the other you know, fields? Like for example, you have you've taken up um, uh, research on blended language learning. So you have to really study what is blended learning. Now, who are the major contributors in the area of blended language learning? Are there any recent research articles available on this area of blended language learning in the peer-reviewed journals? Or have you ever gone through the dissertation abstracts available? You can visit International Dissertation Abstracts or Dissertation Abstract International to understand the entire uh, gamut of or the entire galaxy of research abstracts published this year or last year. And read uh, relevant research guides or research books available. There could be teacher handbooks or researcher handbooks available in this area. Consult an expert in person. Visit uh, a university nearby. Talk to an expert in that particular area and understand why the blended language learning is quite relevant for you today. You may or similarly, if you are from another area, suppose you are a doctor, you would like to do research in a, on, on a particular area. You have to talk to specialists in that area or experts in that area. Consult handbooks or research articles or research database available in that area. You may also uh, get a bibliography of that particular research topic. Re do a, a wide range of reading before you start writing a research proposal. Uh, have a clear objective. Set your objectives clearly and you should not copy any of the old research proposals available online. You should not really uh, replicate any of the research projects done under these. So you, this, it's good to read a few uh, dissertations if before you start writing your own research proposal. Once you finish, uh, you know, uh, writing down your research objective, you have to describe the area of, uh, of your research, the field of your research. Is it going to be a survey-based research? If it is, uh, so then you have to talk to your statistician. Uh, somebody who is uh, very familiar with statistics of research, understand what should you do. Ask them, ask for a guidance to come up with a questionnaire. What kind of questionnaire are you going to develop? Or talk to your prospective research supervisor about how to go about it. 
if it is going to be a quality uh, based research or qualitative research, uh, you will have to work on which factors of quality or which aspects of quality are you going to work on. Uh, you, you can also uh, define the future uh, trends in research or the future developments in research. So all these are going to help you in a very big way to come up with a game plan for research or a blueprint for research. And you should also you know, consult a few experts or a few researchers who are already in the field. So they can help you with some of their strategies or techniques that they might have made use of. Hope all these would help you to write a research proposal. If you need any support in this regard, please call me and visit me in person. I'm there to support you to write down uh, you know, some of the important aspects of all that you have in mind. Even if you're from any other field, either in the field of engineering or medicine or uh, from any other field, I'm there to support you to come up with your own research proposal. Wish you all success. Good luck to you. Hope this might help you in a very big way. Hope to meet you in the next video with some other new topic. Wish you all success. Bye.